to murder that bird. That's all right. That's all right. I was within and without, simultaneously enchanted and repelled by the inexhaustible variety of life. Unity love, I'm speaking words written on the tablets coming from the mountains above. Uh, seek to me enough, and you will recognize we all bleed red and we'll all be dead. But we choose to be tough and understand that one life is given, path might be hidden. Remember when we met? Oh, wait, no, we didn't. Hold tight, the driver is a pro on our mission. Listen, my mission is officially upon me. Give me something different and don't say I'm sorry. Classic like Atari, driven like Safari. Pulled it all together, man, I'm like origami. I'll be probably chilling, telling stories on a hot beat by me. Coming from an angle you did not see, not the one that you expected like I'm Rocky Stop please, the crew be motley One time to the people that be hearing this For the first time ask why so serious Why are you fearing this, I'm delirious Don't make me pain, tell myself into oblivion Living in times in belligerent minds I'm a different kind with legitimate rhymes I'm sicker than most doctors who wish to prescribe And quicker than most runners who go for their lives I'm, yes I will I'll give you something good, ladies and gentlemen Hope it's understood, we can build Listen, missus, you must not miss this, yes Don't sit still you know this invitation calls the celebration, y'all. And why you want my guest? I'll give you my best. I welcome you to the mind of a boy obsessed. I'm bringing back ghosts in this field of dreams with enough stage status to feel the team. You feeling asthmatic? You got to breathe. Not without practice, it's got to be properly enough of the hypocrisy. If only hypocrisy, the mockery of the modern day poet, what's stopping we from getting out our dreams responsibly? I got sick of waiting, patience overrated, reevaluated the state. Am I debating and found I could create it? Now I'm not complacent. Find me in the lab with a pad innovating, creating the game, the hating, no more delaying. I'm slaying beasts and I'm playing, you're praying off with the words and I'm saying F R E S H, fresh, 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 so fresh. Yeah. Yes, I will give you something good, ladies and gentlemen. Hope it's understood. We can build. Listen, misses, you must not miss this. Yes, don't sit still. You know this invitation calls for celebration. Why you want my guest? I'll give you my best to welcome you to the mind of a boy obsessed. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all feel? Let's try that again. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. You guys feel good? <laughs> it's like really awesome to be here. So I got one more thing before my uh, my time is up, and I uh, I wrote like a little poem about uh, what I think the future of theater should be. And um, I've been writing it over the past couple of days. And I woke up at four o'clock in the morning yesterday um, or last night, and I was like, "Shit, I am Jerry Maguire." And uh, I guess luckily uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not employed, so uh, I can't be fired. Um, <laughs> So uh, who's coming with me? <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me get into this. I wrote it down. Let me get my book. All right. So it was 20 years ago I saw my first Broadway show. The Secret Garden, featuring John Cameron Mitchell. And who would have thought, or rather, who would have known that 12 years later, Mr. Mitchell would give me a car wash while sitting in the second row. And after that first show, I devoured scores day by day, memorized every lyric on the great white way, was entranced by the majesty, by the comedy or tragedy. I would imagine shows in my mind doing the play by play. And I knew my fate was sealed by the time I was 10. Didn't know how to begin, but knew I had to get in. My dreams were affected like never before. Wanted to put on a mask. I couldn't sleep no more. So I trained to be an actor, a serious actor, who sings. <laughs> right. Uh, <clears throat> but I soon realized I also wanted to control the puppet strings. See, I'm a product of a generation of entitled, impatient, apathetic, lazy children who all feel alone. <laughs> I mean, fuck, we created the internet so we wouldn't have to leave home. <laughs> We're also brave and unafraid, and we process information differently. We combine multiple mediums from rap shows to symphonies. We see music visually and hear images implicitly. We cross genre boundaries and are prone to eccentricities. We're a generation who tweets about the skeletons in our closet as recreation. We all have a voice, so we are prone to speak with explanations and exclamations. So who am I in all this, huh? 
I'm not a hipster. I'm not a skater. I'm not a thug. I'm not a hater. I'm a great creator, and I love theater. <laughs> so where's Broadway going, right? What's the best it can be? Well, I think embracing our new culture is a necessity. I hate to say this, eek, but Broadway is looking a lot like Vegas. Retreads of old movies are not going to save us. We need to look closer at the entertainment we're affording them. We need to get back to creating stars instead of just importing them. And I mean this from the heart. Uh, I believe in the importance of critics for uh, chronicling our theatrical history, but it can't be that our collective fates are only written by Isher Wood or Brantley. We all have a voice, and we're not afraid. Look, I mean, what critic's going to argue with a million likes on Facebook? We're still in the World Wide West where the Internet is free, and because of this, like the music business, the artists have a chance to shape the industry. And it's important, I swear, because the opportunity is there to be at the forefront of pop culture instead of in the rearview mirror. And I'm not naive. I mean, I'm young, but um, I know the dollar is important. But for the future of this business, we're alienating people who can't afford it. And as long as we create shows for only people who can see them, we run the risk of turning the theater into a museum. Kids today expect content for free. So I say we take our Broadway shows and nightly stream them online for a small fee. It'll expand our reach. A million people watching in Dubai, maybe they can save us from the future and our fate, just like Bonnie and Clyde. Maybe. Look, and I don't have to tell you the finances suck, right? But how can we create a show that sells when the New York non-for-profit houses can't produce a musical without commercial help? It's a different world now, and I have to say that we can have people's ears before we or they have to pay. And before the purists scream out at me and cry out, fuck out of town, give me an internet tryout. Everyone's online from 90-year-old Jewish women to toddlers. So let's get the public's opinion, huh, before we drop a million dollars. And before I get all old and... Uh, my heart is hardened. I remember the boy who saw The Secret Garden. I want Broadway's reach to expand past the nation. It's my goal to tell stories that inspire my generation. And so 20 years, what do I think Broadway could be? Well, I hope and I pray that future will include me. Galinda wants to be popular, and so do we. I want to hear Broadway songs on the radio and MTV. And truly, I'm humbled to be in the presence of all these people out here. It is... Uh, it's an honor and a privilege, and uh, thank you for giving me your ear. Peace. Thank you.